Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcome, friends, to Kardec Radio. My name is Greg, and the name of my show is Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. Thank you for joining. Kardec Radio is nourishing our souls 24 hours a day with over 4,000 podcasts. You can find those on Facebook, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, or kardecradio.com. You can go there and download the programs and take them on the go. Kardec Radio is a volunteer-run radio station, and your donations are welcome. So as always, we like to start with a prayer. And so we, we invite you to close your eyes and listen to the prayer. My Lord, my God, my love. Here we are, Lord, once again, gathered in your name with gratitude and praise of your holy name. Our hearts are full in this sacred time of communion with your grace and wonder. We humbly ask that this sacred time, this brief moment, be blessed by you, by Lord Jesus, our Mother Mary, and all of your high order spirits to bring us comfort, love, wisdom, understanding, and great joy of celebrating in this time of prayer and learning. O wondrous spirit, O magnanimous God, take us to a place of joy and peace during these moments that we are gathered in your holy name. We ask that we remember that we are your children and we are greatly loved, so loved. Thank you for blessing us with this wisdom that is before us. And may we derive great inspiration from these words we are about to read. O oh, great Lord of the universe, with a thousand thousand names, praised by all in a thousand thousand different tongues. All merciful, all knowing, all forgiving, unbounded, omnipotent, we thank you for being with us always. As we remind ourselves that you are all these things, that we always have your protection, mercy, and grace. In your holy name, we ask this, that this meeting and reading be blessed. So be it. Amen. Amen. 
This is show number 49. And this is uh, from the Spiritus magazine, number 56. It's a beautiful piece, short piece, two short pieces about Chico Xavier. And I couldn't resist this one because I love stories about Chico. It's called The Materialization of Shells. And it's from the archives of Mr. Goncalves Piera. Without being able to specify the date of what we will write below, this fact happened in the late 1950s in Pedro Leopoldo, Minas Gerais, Brazil. At that time, Mrs. Luisa, wife of Mr. Jose Goncalves Piera, was somewhat ill and under the guidance of the doctor, Bezerra de Menezes. Chico Xavier was taken by Mr. Goncalves to spend 15 days in Pedro Leopoldo, staying at Chico's residence. That way, she could participate in the whole routine of the house, including some gospel meetings that took place with some guests. As told by herself one night, in one of these meetings, in the silence of meditation, she began to hear the sound of waves from the sea. Scared because she was always afraid of the sea, especially when her family lived in Rio de Janeiro, she asked herself, but we are in Minas Gerais, there is no sea here. And the noise kept growing, growing, and she suddenly began to rain little shells. And, and it, I think it's, and it suddenly began to rain little shells in large quantities around the room. When the meeting ended and the lights were turned on, there was a sea of shells on the floor, on chairs, on people's laps, including hers. Astonished by the fact she could, she only collected a few, and due to the changes in resonance, they got lost and only two were left. Interestingly, if we take the natural sea shells from the coast and compare it with those that were materialized, we will see that the texture is quite different as shown in the photos below. And you can see the, uh, the, photos of those materialized um, on the, the pictures in on the magazine number 56 spiritus magazine um, beautiful everybody knows that Chico had just about every kind of mediumship and he was encouraged to spend all of his time with recording books because that will last forever. Whereas these materializations and the healings that he did, which were absolutely wonderful for the people that were there, they were one moment in time and could not be repeated generations later as we are now few generations later, and we are still deriving the beauty of Chico's mediumship. So the next piece is an unpublished letter from Chico Xavier, again, to Jose Goncalves Piera during his first trip to the USA. And this is also in the same magazine, number 56. Silver Spring, June 2nd, 1965. I lived in Silver Spring, Maryland, and so I was interested in that, that we kind of crossed paths, although I was just a little boy. Dear Goncalves, may Jesus be with you. Thank God we have, we have arrived well, and we are three of us, Waldo, 
Irineu and I, spending, sending you, Louisa and Jerry, extensively from our hearts, a big hug. Fortunately, everything is following the route outlined by our spiritual benefactors. This great nation, USA, really impresses for its material grandeur. Everything here denotes organization and power, human conveniences and intelligence achievement. And with more than 10 days in the United States, I can say that the people in all the spheres we have approached are generous and profoundly good. We have found friends everywhere, and although different from us Brazilians, who are always very spontaneous in feeling, the American people, reserved as they are, have shown us their immense reserve of kindness and, court and, and courtesy. We thank God, studying, worshiping, devising, and analyzing. We were hosted with great affection by our sister, Sida Pimentel, who has introduced us to a lot of good people. Thanks to Jesus, everything is going well. The material greatness marks the smallest sectors of what we are seeing, but it is observed that with regards to the Spiritist Doctrine with Allan Kardec, interpreting and explaining Jesus, there is a lot to do in this great country. Upon our arrival in New York, we were inquired by a companion about the probability of founding here a Spiritist Christian nucleus among the lines of Brazil and upon arriving in Silver Spring, a city neighboring Washington, D.C., we found letters from our Florida con uh, considering such possibilities of maintaining us to personal understanding in Miami. Sorry, that's from our Florida conferencees, considering such possibilities and inviting us to personal understanding in Miami. Our Florida brothers and sisters want to talk with us in which we can study the subject with them. But our efforts with our Waldo in the lead are focused on the launching of the first book of our spiritual friends here, The Spiritist Ideal. And in this objective, we will proceed. The more I observe the greatness, by the way deserved and fair, of the American people who work actively, the more I feel my heart linked to our country. The progress here encourages us to do more work there. Believe, my dear Goncalves, that a trip here is of great value for our spiritual horizons, indicating the need for more service in our part in preparing for the future. Seeing the United States, we haven't lost a millimeter of trust and love in our country so generous and so good. Instead, we see in our hearts growing affection and living faith in our land and in our people. Let us always work harder. From here, I believe, if Jesus allows, we will visit other regions. Hope to send you an update. Big hug to Louisa and Jenny, extended to all our loved ones. I ask you to tell our dear Alvina that my modest English is enough for me to go shopping or ask for information. Thank you, God. But the studies continue, and I remain confident in the blessing of the Lord. Best wishes from our dear Waldo and our dear Irineu.
a big and affectionate hug to all of you and our friends from those who do not forget you. Shiko. And here we are. Shiko started it. And Spiritism has spread to the United States in a big way. And thanks to the efforts of Kardec Radio, which is very available on many podcasts and formats. All these beautiful messages are being archived for reading, for listening, for elevating our souls. We thank Chico for this vision that the United States was important. A lot of other spiritual people, particularly from India, have felt the same way as well. In the 1800s, there were masters, gurus, who were training their disciples and had let their disciples know that their mission later on would be to bring spirituality to the United States. So we have some coming from the south, from Brazil. We have it coming from India, came to the, the California and spread. Um, one, one of those great uh, spiritual masters from India was, was uh, Yogananda. And he came in the early 20s, and it was received very well. And people started being interested in spiritual awakening. And other great masters have come to the United States. The United States is seen by God as an important pivoting uh, point in the world that it is a melting pot similar to Brazil. Many different cultures are here. There isn't really any, well, even the native people, you know, it, it said that they may have come from, from Asia. But there isn't really any real American. There may be people who have been here longer than others. I'm a fourth generation Italian. And so it's, <laughs> who's to say who's the real American here is that it is a, it is a, a new, a new race, a new connection of spirituality. It, in God's eyes, it is very important what we do here, that we create a new world because a new world is beginning. A new world is upon us. We are in the shifts of this new world. So have faith and know that we are safe in God's hands and he, she is creating what we have here and can take anything and transform it into wonder and beauty. So, there you have it, my friends. Thank you for joining in these wonderful stories of Shiko. And I wish you many blessings. And stay tuned to the meditation and healing portion of my show. And we will see you the next time. Sit comfortably and close your eyes. Purifying the heart and mind before a healing prayer, as described by the Spirit Father Ustakio, who was a healing medium when alive on earth. This through the hands of psychography of Chico Xavier.
Repeat after me, silently or out loud. Visualize the person or people who have hurt you. Look into their eyes and say to them, I forgive you. Thank you. I love you. See yourself hugging them. Visualize the people you have hurt. Look into their eyes and say, I am sorry. Forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Visualize yourself hugging them. Now visualize yourself as a small child. Look directly into your eyes and say, I forgive you. I love you. Thank you, dear soul. God loves you greatly. More than you are capable of knowing. The healing prayer. Repeat after me, silently or out loud. Dear God, please use me as an instrument of healing to cure this infirmity. I have faith in you and know that all things are possible with you. Please free me from all thought of pride and selfishness, which may alter their purity. I humbly beseech you to permit your good spirits to concentrate their beneficial fluids in me so that I may bring about health. Let us visualize a shower of God's healing light being poured over the diseased or damaged area. Sustain this image of light, healing, soothing the damaged or diseased part. This light of God coming through Jesus and the good spirits restores balance and reinvigorates health. See this light not only healing the physical vessel, but the paraspiritual body. See the cells coming alive with new joyous energy, happy to be part of God's plan and carry out this holy work. See this loving light of God pour over our entire spark of God we call the soul. See each cell be enlivened in vigor and health. 
May this heavenly divine light elevate us to learn from this mistake that caused the disease. May it infuse wisdom and discernment so that future thoughts and actions do not cause harm to myself or any other dear soul. See us healthy, happy, vibrant, glowing in divine light, a heart full of love and acceptance of all. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Blessed Jesus. And thank you, good spirits that are sent by God for this healing. Thank you for this healing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, me.